All right, my nigga, before we start the video, the Egyptians are not motherfucking Arabs. It's been scientifically and genetically proven that they are Arabs and that they are black people. But without further ado, let's get into the video. Some were called Kemet, and Egypt was called Kemet, the land of the black. No, it is not the black color of the Nil Silt, which is mentioned as Samarcalogist claim, but the color of the skin of the people living there. The white people, yes, the white people descendants of Europeans claim that Egyptians are white people. Egyptians are not white. They are black. Because we can't admit that all those wonderful things that we got from Egypt came from black people. If you admit that, then you cannot continue to support the myth of white superiority. So we simply move Egypt into the Middle East so that we don't have to admit that we got all those wonderful things from I black love people. to be like, historically, blah, 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 blah. Blatantly ignoring the fact that history has been whitewashed. And that's not only just like the textbooks you grew up with in school. For example, the noses being removed off of ancient Egyptian artifacts so that they're not black anymore, so that they you can't tell that they're black or removing paint from ancient Greek statues because they didn't want to talk about how the Greek were actually really into Ethiopian people and like wanted to represent them. This is a big problem because Egypt, the ancient Egyptian civilization was a black civilization and ancient Egyptians were black according to the Greek scholars and the Roman scholars. So, what do we know? We know that in Latin, we have descriptions of the people of this land, now known as Egypt, as having dark skin and woolly hair. We also also have archaeological findings that support this, but was maimed and defaced by explorers. Explorers, um, and then we basically have a resurfacing of history. I think it's great. Let's keep going. Nubian and th that was unexpected. Examining Shemai's anatomy closely, the thickness of his bones and the shape of his nasal cavity, the anthropologists think he was a black African, likely from neighboring Nubia. A huge revelation that challenges the prevailing image of the Egyptian ruling class. We always thought the ancient Egyptian elites were Mediterranean type and in this sense, Shema is representing the society of, uh, of the frontier in which different ethnic uh, groups were mixed. At the end, it doesn't matter the color of your skin. Shema was Egyptian. Actually, I removed layers of paint, which should not happen in the art world. And look at this. Does that look like white people to you? Does this hair texture look like anything anything someone like me can achieve and i'm mixed and this this all of it egypt is my If one observes the statue and frescoes, the resemblance is striking. The nose, the big lips. Indeed, many said you have a broken nose because they had, as they say, a Negro nose.
Herodotus said that Colchon was a colony of the Egyptians because they had black skin and curly hair. Book 2, Utep. The Colchon were an African colony which migrated to settle near the Black Sea. Aristotle also spoke of the Egyptians, describing them as excessively black. Those who are excessive. This is called the Table of Nations. It was found in the tomb of Ramesses III. These are the Egyptians. These are the Nubians. This is them depicting themselves with the same skin color, but the fashion and phenotypes are a bit different. Here's where they got the hieroglyph from. In this hieroglyph that you can find in the tomb of Ramesses, which is in the Valley of the Kings, this right here are the Nubians. This right here are the Egyptians. The hieroglyph translates to Egyptian people. Here's a hieroglyph of the Egyptians depicting themselves different from the West Asians. These are the Egyptians, these are the West Asians. I've already went over this, but Egyptians depict Nubians different skin colors as well. Just like them. Alright, right here, this is called the Table of Nations. For the Greeks and Romans, the Egyptians were Africans, and when you get depictions of Egyptians, they're always shown people with black skin, Afro hair, um, sort of small um, noses, broad faces, um, full mouths, so they, they actually sort of have a caricature almost um, of what they see as an Egyptian. And the Greeks often confused Egypt with Ethiopia, so they'll quite often call the Egyptians Ethiopians. Um, so it's obviously somebody with, with a dark face. Um, and when they showed Ethiopians, they showed them in exactly the same way that they showed Egyptians um, as, as Africans. Um, so there was no question at all that, that Egypt was an African country. It certainly wasn't seen to be European by either the Greeks or the Romans. All uh, right, here, this is the facial reconstruction of King Akhenaten and Queen Nefertiti. This is Queen Nefertiti's elongated skull. You feel me? Akhenaten also had one. And right here is a Mang Betu woman. She also has an elongated skull. This is also Egyptian combs, Afro combs. This is the combs they used to use. And as we know, Egypt is located in the one and only Africa. Uh, I didn't want to make this video too long, so I'm going to cut it here. But this shit could have easily been like 20 minutes. But just do your research. The Egyptians was black. Research Dr. Sheik, Anta Diop, and you know other people, and you'll get the information, bro. But without further ado.